For all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer, and today everyone, I am back with a brand new tutorial on how you can make a pretty cheap and easy tombstone. Now, I made mine, I can't remember how much I spent on it, but you're only going to need some styrofoam, some styrofoam glue, and you know, basic paint and stuff. You can add as much as you want to this thing. I want to keep it really loose because your freedom with your imagination is what's important with this tombstone. Here's the one I made just so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like. Uh, as you can see, it's relatively large compared to me, and I added a skull to it. So I'm going to show you how to make a tombstone just like this. So, without any more delay, let's get into the tombstone build. So you're going to start out with two foam pieces. Uh, one is going to be the base and one is the actual headstone of this tombstone. You're also going to need some foam carving tools, some foam glue. You're also going to need moss. I got this at Dollar Tree. You're also going to need some stone textured paint. This can look like rust or just like more stone. And you're going to need some gray paint and I used a little bit of black also. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to carve the stone to your liking. It just depends on what kind of stone you want. I wanted sort of a half round, half kind of um, rectangular kind of shape to it. But you do it any way you so desire. The next step is going to be adding some nails and glue to fit the two pieces together. Once you do that, it should be relatively secure. The glue took a while to dry, but I think it'll work just fine. Next, I painted it. This is the fun part, and you can really be as creative as you want with this. I started with the gray, and then I added some of the rust paint, and then I went back later and added some black. You can do this any way you want, but I think it turned out really good, and the results were really incredible. It actually looked like stone in the end. I then went ahead and used some hot glue to add moss to the top and bottom of the stone. You can do this as much as you want, you can use any kind of moss you want, this was just the way I did it. The next part is actually pretty cool, I had a cardboard skull from Halloween and I painted that to look like stone. And after I did that, I used hot glue to secure it onto the headstone, and I think it added even more character to this tombstone. You can add, you know, any kind of things you want to this. You can add more multimedia. You could add lights to this. You could make it animated if you want. There's so many different possibilities, but this is a simple way to make a cheap and easy tombstone. And when you're all finished, you will have a really neat one. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to Hauntformer. And remember, as always, for all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer.